big shout to the ghosts and the gold sets i frequently get asked the question what do you do if you get invited on a run with an outlaw motorcycle club should you not go is it okay to go is it going to be issues we're going to run down some scenarios and talk about how you can maneuver when you're out there rocking with the outlaw clubs and we get into it on this episode of demons road tv and no oh yeah we ghosting baby Shout out to the ghosts and the ghost sets. Welcome to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle and motorcycle club involved. I'm Sos the Ghost. I'm your host for the evening. And today we talk about getting invited to a poker run by Diamond Club members, by Outlaw Motorcycle Clubs, or even a regular MC, and you're not a member. You're Lone Wolf, No Club, Independent Rider, whatever you classify yourself as, you get invited as a non-member of a club to go ride with an Outlaw Motorcycle Club or MC, doesn't matter what type of club it is. You wanna show respect, you don't wanna have no issues, we're gonna break that down. But the first thing I want you to do, like we always do on this channel, is to hit me with that pound ghost in. And that lets me know you're alive and well, sitting on twos, doing what you do, or just part of the Demon's Row community, one of my ghosts. Big shout to all my new subscribers, welcome to the row make sure you hit that bell so you get the notification hit the like button if you're rocking with me and let's get into it so let's talk about it you're cool with somebody you get invited to a memorial run or a biker run poker run whatever kind of run it is you get invited invite only don't just pull up to an outlaw motorcycle club or a diamond club or any type of motorcycle clubs event and you don't know anybody because that's suspect right there so you get invited First thing I'm gonna say is, if you ever get a gut feeling that something is not right, just don't go. That's I say that across the board for everything. Anytime I ever had a bad situation happen, a shootout, any type of situation, it always resulted in me not going with my gut and knowing that something was wrong. So don't do that. If you feel that way, do not pull up. So when you decide to go, when you pull up, let's just get the simple stuff out the way first. You take your shades off. You take your gloves off if you're riding with gloves on. When you shake somebody's hand, you shake their hand, you look them in the face. If when they shake your hand, they try to pull you in, never touch their patches. You can touch the side of their coat. Like if they actually pull you in for an embrace, do not touch their back patch ever. That is gonna be a major issue depending on what club it is. But just out of respect for the culture, do not touch someone's back patch. Even me, I practice what I preach. Even if it's somebody that I'm very close with, if we're at an event where there's a whole bunch of people there, it's a big bike event or a run or something like that, when they give me a hug, I don't touch their back patch just out of respect. And I know that they wouldn't have an issue with it, but it's just the respect thing. And you know, there's people that would jump in the comments and be like, it's not like that. You don't have to do that. You don't have to bow down to anybody. Tell that person to show you footage of him going to see a Diamond Club member, a pagan, a Mongol, a Hell's Angel, a Vago, unknown biker, Wills of Soul. Tell him to go up to show you him going up to one of those club members and dapping them up and putting his hand on their back patch. Tell that person, let me see you do that first before you tell me to do it. Now there's a saying, don't bro me if you don't know me. I personally have not seen anybody ever get checked for saying brother, but a lot of people have told me that they've been checked before for calling an outlaw motorcycle club member brother. So I would stay away from titles just in case everywhere is different you know the way people react in texas is going to be a lot different from the way people react in new york so everything is different depending on where you go so that's why i say like if you stick by these rules 
you're pretty good wherever you go because these are just basic respect moves when you're out somewhere never start getting into questions about inner club stuff like don't ask them oh what does that patch mean oh how could i get one of those patches how could i earn a patch like that you never discuss anything that they got on that cut they all have earned it through a lot of blood sweat and tears depending on what club it is because some of these clubs just hand them out like underwear if it's a real established mc or outlaw motorcycle club people have to put in work to get in there so you don't want to be questioning them about patches and look like you're a cop now one major thing that can be a big issue now even if the person that invited you let's say he's a diamond club member let's say he's in an outlaw motorcycle club and he's talking to one of his brothers never tap him on the back to interrupt them while two diamond members are talking this is considered a huge disrespect in the mc world you got to be careful with it especially if two diamonds are talking to each other and they're from different clubs or if they're rivals even worse you don't want to get in a heated conversation when you see diamonds talking to each other that you see that one percent diamond patch on somebody's chest or one percenter you don't interrupt their conversation with another diamond club member wait for the conversation to be over and then you address them now depending on where you're from and what type of club you're functioning with what type of outlaw motorcycle club is in there some outlaw clubs you have to go to the outlaw club first and say what's up to them not like you're walking in and you see scs or you see like support clubs and you're saying what's up to all of them and then going to the diamonds last some diamonds take that as a disrespect and i know it sounds crazy but in certain places this is the way it is and they will feel a way if you're saying what's up to everybody first and not them another thing with the social media era now you never want to pull your phone out around diamonds you could be doing a selfie or something and they're behind you or something they'll think you're recording them it'll be a bad situation some of these clubs don't want to be seen at all on camera or they blur certain stuff out they blur their diamond out or their club name if they are posting something so you don't want to be the one to throw up a picture or they see you taking a picture and it becomes a major issue and if you're going inside a clubhouse a lot of the times be prepared they will take your phone people check their phones in and outlaw motorcycle clubs a lot of times depending on the club how they're moving so sometimes you will have to check your phone in now let's say you get pulled into a picture with them make sure that it's okay for you to post it and also understand that if you post that picture the other side may feel a way about it they may feel a way about it usually if they know you're not in the club they don't care but if you have some type of support on or you have some type of colors that seems like you may be support or something it could get sticky depending on where you live These so let's say demons. you go visit a friend there in a club but then a different town in your town they have problems with that rival when you go back home that picture will surface and it could be issues now here's a very important one do not speak to the old ladies if they say what's up to you i'm not saying don't say what's up back you could you know if they say oh how you doing thanks for coming out or whatever you can respond to that but do not try to be a conversation sparker or don't try to if they initiate a conversation with you do not try to lengthen the conversation out give them their respect and keep it pushing that is someone's wife that is someone's girlfriend it could get really bad over those type of situations and you could be doing nothing wrong you could be having a calm conversation about nothing about a motorcycle something you're pushing up on a diamond club members old lady so be very careful with old ladies because a lot of times old ladies are very friendly you know they're not in the club so they're just saying what's up they're at a party but you gotta know that there's consequences if that brother sees you talking to his old lady for an extended amount of time or something like that you don't want those kind of issues so when you're actually pulling off and you're about to go on the run always remember that if you're not a fully patched member you're a non-club member you always ride in the back that's the first thing second prepare yourself for high speeds because diamond clubs outlaw motorcycle clubs even regular mcs when they're in formation they could pick up really high speeds so prepare yourself for that aspect of it as well now if that's nothing for you and you can keep up one thing i'll tell you when you're in the formation never let the nose of your bike go past a diamond holder especially you know like a president 
a, a high ranking national or something like that never like get out of the pack and then ride ahead and pass the front of the pack that is a huge disrespect to a diamond club now sometimes they pull you in the pack then you can't do much about that you're in the pack already so you might be ahead of a couple of diamonds but it'll be a road captain tail gunner those type depending on how your club names it they'll be hanging back watching what's going on and moving in and out of the pack so you will be in front of them because they're moving around or they'll get behind you so it just really depends on how that club moves and just always remember the people that are saying that this is too much it ain't really that serious trust me when i tell you from experience myself being a diamond holder and being the person that's just riding in the back seeing what's going on it goes down and depending on where you at the person who says that might never be around a diamond in their life so that's why they're saying it but very few people get around the big bros and disrespect let's just be honest here and at the end of the day across the board just recognize that all of these diamond club members outlaw motorcycle clubs mcs doesn't matter what kind of club they're all just regular dudes in a club so if you come at them with respect they're gonna come with respect back they're gonna be way cooler than you thought there's a lot of stereotypes out there that are gangland stereotypes and if you realize it's always rocking off the 80s and the 90s situations that happen and listen there's new situations that happen all the time and a lot of this stuff is going on because of lack of respect for others so if you have that respect you won't get into these issues let me know in the comments a story where you met up with an outlaw motorcycle club also you could ask me any questions that you have on going out with the clubs what is it like should you go should you not a lot of people have told me about situations that they went through and it worked out well for them just having some respect so don't let the internet fool you a lot of these people that talk they're not outside always remember that if you want to know more about the diamond clubs and how they move i got an episode called one percent of patch meanings patches you should never wear it'll be linked above and thank you for tuning in to demons row tv the holy grail of mc culture like subscribe and comment and oh yeah we ghosting baby